I'm literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in a parking lot and it went fine. And I'm going to tell you why it went fine and how to address it because it was in a book I read and this is how you're supposed to address it, but it scared me. I'm literally, I'm literally shaking. So this guy, I am a alone with my son by myself, a woman and a male approached me in a parking lot. He's like, excuse me, miss. And I don't know why in the hell he was approaching me or what he was trying to do. And before he, I mean, he was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me, ma'am. And I turned around and I literally yelled at him and I said, do not approach me. And he like immediately started going in the other direction. And I just kept saying it over and over and over. I said, do not approach me. Do not approach me. And he of course like got like, what the F did it? Like he started cussing and yelling, like, what, what's your problem? And I, and I looked at him and he started, he actually then crossed a couple cars down from my car and he didn't come anywhere near me. He crossed a couple cars down from my car and was like, what's con continuing to cuss and say, what's your problem? And I said, you do not approach women in a parking lot. I just kept saying, do not approach me. You do not approach women in a parking lot, like yelling it. No male, no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot ever should no male should ever approach a woman in a parking lot and if a male does approach you you need to turn around and use the strongest voice that you can possibly use with them don't be polite they need to literally screw off no male should be approaching you in a parking lot guys before i go ahead and begin analyzing this clip i'm going to start this video with a quick analogy most of you will be familiar with the insects moths and butterflies Moths are seen as ugly creatures, an annoyance, vermin, and are okay to exterminate. Whereas butterflies are seen as beautiful insects, colourful, pristine, and should be protected. Now, the reason I've brought this up is because these two insects at face value are extremely similar in terms of anatomy and life cycle. But the most striking difference is that one was blessed with beautiful colours, therefore seen as valuable, while the other was cursed with ugly colours, therefore seen as worthless. Just some food for thought to start off. Now looking at the clip, I have absolutely no way of verifying this, but I could bet any money that the man who approached this woman was certainly a sub-5 ugly guy. And the reason I think this is because the way women treat ugly men and attractive men are literally light years apart from one another. For ugly men, women don't want to be associated at all. They see them as an embarrassment, lowering their social value, and at a worst case, dangerous. Whereas for attractive men, they are seen as safe, kind, and compassionate. Even studies show better looking people are treated better. This article from a women's magazine shows a study, on average, attractive male and female servers made about $1,200 more a year than unattractive servers, mostly due to the disparity in women's tips. That's right, women are way more superficial than society wants you to believe. So, Back to my prediction of the man who approached this woman, I am extremely confident that he would have looked like this, a bottom 10%er in terms of appearance. Because if we hear some of her quotes, I am literally shaking right now because I just had a man approach me in the parking lot. Now, why would she be shaking after just having a man approach her? I mean, I can tell you myself, as a non-ugly guy, this is not the kind of response you'd expect from women. I have two interview videos on my channel, which both involved approaching countless women. I'd estimate about a hundred total. And none of these resulted in getting shouted at or having the women shaking after the interaction. Instead, for the most part, even the ones who didn't want to participate, would be respectful and politely decline, so we'd all carry on about our day. I was even thinking of getting my filming assistant to record me approaching the women, including the rejections, to show you how polite most people are if you walk up to them as an average or above average guy. But going back to this woman, I find it unbelievable she had this rush of adrenaline, her fight or flight response kicking in. 
and felt a need to record a TikTok announcing to the world her trauma just for being approached by a guy in the parking lot. There's only two possibilities. Either she's the biggest drama queen in the world, or the guy who approached is the ugliest guy in the world. Quote 2. He was probably 30 feet from me when he said, excuse me ma'am. For those that missed, 30 feet. This is just shy of 10 meters, so he's left 2-3 car lengths of space before approaching her. More than enough room to not startle her. He also said excuse me, which is as polite as you can get if you're going to walk up to a stranger. What it comes down to is, the man did nothing wrong. I repeat, the man did nothing wrong. And she would have never responded this way if a woman approached her, or an attractive man did. My point is, only ugly guys get this level of treatment from women. In fact, this leads great into the next point, because it's not just women who treat ugly guys terribly, but men too. Check out this video. Hey guys, I'm in New York City just hanging out. Wow, the facial expression says it all. Both men and women see unattractive guys as creeps, weirdos, and unworthy of respect and dignity. I don't even need to analyse this clip because everything is just shown in his reaction. As the saying goes, every image speaks a thousand words. And if you're still not convinced of the points I'm making, just wait till you see the stark difference attractive guys get. This video will clarify everything. Okay, there is so much more to unpack here. Let's get the elephant in the room out the way first. Notice how there was no shouting or dirty looks from the woman as the guy approached her. And although I wouldn't class the man as an 8 out of 10 chad, he is above average looking at the very least, probably about a 6 out of 10. He's also young, has good hair, a good frame, and looks quite tall when you look at the height difference, maybe a fraction over 6 foot. So in terms of overall SMV, I'd put him as a 7 out of 10, which would be more than enough to not lead to reactions of disgust when approaching women. But obviously, because he's quite above average, we'd expect a bit more than that, which is how we get into the next part of the approach, where we see his so-called riz, game, chat, or whatever you want to call it, actually had so many errors scattered throughout. However, he was still able to get away with it because of his above average looks. For example, literally in the first two sentences, he asks if she's single which is universally considered a mistake among dating gurus who claim to be experts in cold approach. E.g., I asked Coach Whitepill about why it's bad, and he provided a reasonably detailed explanation. Pause now if you want to read. But, in spite of his blunder, he gets away with it anyway. Almost unsurprisingly too, because he's above average looking. This is how it is, and I even spoke about it in one of my earliest videos on the channel. As a highly attractive guy, women will let a lot of your incompetence slide because they'll let you compensate with your looks. Whereas, for average guys, everything you say needs to be more or less perfect, and you making one mistake will result in her having no problem cutting you off. Then lastly, for below average guys, no matter what you say, the woman has already made up her mind she is repulsed by you. And the more you speak will actually make the interaction worse, and her disdain for you will grow. 
Going back to the video, there's more examples supporting the theory in the chart. The man quickly makes another mistake by asking for her number very early. The problem with this is that it again shows his neediness. Instead, a better way of going about it would have been to have her invest in the conversation, get her to ask about what's going on in your life, then, after she's invested, she'll feel on level terms, so then it's a higher probability she'll give her number. But, once again, despite his neediness, he gets away with it and eventually gets her Instagram. However, finally, the thing we've been overlooking all along, which is perhaps the biggest indicator to show looks can help you get away with anything, is the fact the girl has a boyfriend or at the very least claim she does. Now, even if she was lying, it is generally 10 times harder to walk away from the interaction successful if the girl has slash claims she has a boyfriend. But again, the man was able to overcome this, therefore showing once more him being carried by looks. I hope you are starting to get the point of the video. The bottom line is, women only want to be approached by attractive men. And for those attractive men, the women will actually make their life easier, flirt more, be more compliant and more likely to give out their number or IG. As the saying again goes, it takes two to tango. Furthermore, some will even go as far as bending their standards or relationship status to ensure things keep moving forward with an attractive man. And in contrast, for unattractive men, women do not, I repeat, do not want to be approached by you ever. Even if you're asking for directions or something else innocent. At best, you'll get the blank stare, brick wall conversations with one word answers. And perhaps worst of all is the number of men who fall into this category is growing. Videos like the one at the beginning are like viruses. And the more people that watch these videos means there'll be more women wanting to protect themselves from unattractive guys. And then those women will want to make their own videos spreading the message even further. That's how certain movements, which won't be named, manage to gain so much momentum seemingly overnight. This leaves just one more question. How can you avoid getting hit by the tsunami? Or, what's the solution? I have two suggestions. One, obtain the knowledge if you are in the dreaded creep category, in which case you want to avoid women for your own safety. Or two, if you're on the verge of being a creep, do as best you can to improve your appearance so you can pull yourself out. And with these two things said, You'll be pleased to know I have the tools to fix both. For the past two years, I've sold thousands. Literally thousands of face ratings to you guys. So you can know exactly where you stand and therefore the level of treatment women will give you. I've also given tens of thousands of pieces of looks maxing advice. This is the main service I sell and the reviews which you'll be able to see more of speak for themselves. The prices are extremely affordable, even if you've never bought anything from any YouTuber before. So, I'd highly recommend my own service, and you click the link in the description below now if you're interested. That's everything I have today, and I look forward to seeing you over there.